Hi everyone, welcome back to Twister Sister Studios. I'm Holly, the Twister Sister, and I've got another free balloon animal tutorial for you guys this week. is actually something I came up with just really quick on a whim for the 4th of July so that I can make a fun little TikTok video. If you're not following me on TikTok, I am posting there more frequently, so definitely head over there and follow my new TikTok account. But I just posted this for like a fun and entertainment purposes, and I've gotten so many requests for people uh, who want to know how to make this little red, white, and blue 4th of July puppy dog. <laughs> so I'm teaching that this week um, so everyone who's been asking for it you're welcome <laughs> so for this design you this is a great design because you can change the colors it doesn't have to be red white and blue it can be the colors of your country or this would also be a great design for like a Dalmatian with one black ear or something like that um, some dogs you might want to have different colored ears so this would be a great design for those types of uh, dogs as well so we're gonna start off I'm gonna do the red white and blue that y'all saw and have been asking me about so I've got a red red and blue 260 over here I've gone ahead and just tied them both together and it doesn't really matter how much you blow those up we're not using too much of those balloons and a white 260 which I've left about a three to four inch tail on the end so to start off I'm gonna um, begin this design with a loop in my white balloon let me put this down here. So I'm just gonna fold over my balloon and I'm gonna grab that knot and hook it in to give myself a nice little a loop. This will end up being his snout. And then I like on this design to put two pinch twists at the neck just to kind of keep everything uh, looking the way I want it to and sturdy and facing the right direction. So squeeze out your balloon, do a small round bubble, fold it over, and twist that bubble around itself. And we're gonna do the same thing one more time. Small round bubble and pinch twist. Okay, now we want our pinch twist to be lined up out the back, kind of like this. And the rest of our balloon is gonna be getting ready to go upwards, okay? So we're gonna take our red and blue balloons now that we have tied together, and they're gonna come behind our white balloon, just place them right about there. And we're just gonna fold the white balloon over top of them. Okay, so we're sandwiching them inside of there. They're not twisted in. And then we're gonna make a twist on our white balloon so that it will easily twist back into the base of our head where those two pinch twists are. Now, if you can see my pinch twist, they're kind of flat. They're facing like horizontally at this point on either side of the back of the head. And that's probably uh, the positioning that you want them in to give you the most stabilization on his head. So let's go ahead and do these ears so they're not sticking out all over the place and in our way. So I'm going to start on just either side, pick a side and do a small round bubble on my blue. And again, that's going to be a pinch twist. So just pull it out, make that a nice little pinch twist and then squeeze your balloon out. And however long you want his ears to be, that's how long we're going to make this next loop. So you could give them really floppy ears, more like a beagle look or a Labrador or something. Um, I'm just going to do kind of medium sized ears, standard balloon dog sized ears. So I have something about like that. And then just do the same exact thing on the other side. Try to get the loops the same size as close as possible, unless you're doing like a, a gimpy eared dog. <laughs> so now I've got his head with both ears on. Um, at this point, we're done pretty much with the red and blue. So we can go ahead and cut off the rest that we have here. And just secure those tails up around the pinch twist and then tuck them into that loop so that they're hidden and they're also secure. And then same thing with the blue, but I'm gonna keep track of the part that I cut off because I'm gonna use the blue for his nose at the end. So now you have his head all cleaned up. 
One last thing I like to do before we move on to the body is I like to position the ears a little bit higher on the head so that it doesn't look like they're just coming out the side, like where human ears come out. They're more, dog ears should be up higher. So I'm just gonna take both of these bubbles and just kind of squeeze that white balloon and pull them upwards. So they're kind of starting to pinch it in the middle here, but it's not making a full pinch. They're just up higher on his head. See how that makes such a big difference? All right, at this point, we're gonna finish off our dog with just a basic dog body. You can do a standing dog, a sitting down dog. Um, I like to put this design on a stick because you're most likely going to be making it at a busy festival type situation. And so sticks are great for outdoor events because people just tend to drop their balloons less when it's on a stick for some reason. So I'm gonna do two legs for the front legs. So there's one bubble and another one about the same size. Bring those together, twist them in. Bring the rest of your balloon back. I'm gonna do a body bubble and then I'm gonna do one leg. And since I want this design to be on a stick, here's how I do my dogs that are gonna be on a stick. I take the remaining balloon and we're just gonna thread it through his front legs till it pops into that twist we made and then put the remaining part back up to make your final back leg so i'm going to twist it and then to lock this in here instead of having to like wrap his tail around through his body all you have to do is switch the legs okay and then it's locked in and you have a standing up little puppy dog that's ready to go right on a balloon stick right in the middle of his four little legs there you can even um, anchor it up into his neck so that stick is even more secure in there. There you go. All right, so now let me show you how I'm gonna add the nose and to make it really super duper adorable, we're gonna put a tongue as well. So I've got my blue scrap that we uh, removed from his ear. So we're gonna reuse that. Just put one little puff of air in here, shrink that down to the size that you want his nose to be. Go ahead and take both ends tie them in a double knot. We're gonna get rid of the longer tail here. We don't need all that. And I'm gonna take a five inch round red, just a little puff of air to fill it up. And we're gonna tie our ends together here in a double knot like this. We have his nose and his tongue gonna grab your balloon dog take the tongue open up this loop in the front that very first loop that we made with our white balloon and we're just gonna pull that through add his nose and his tongue at the same time something I like to try to do is to pull his nose up forward as much as possible so it's not right in the center of that loop so much and it's more towards the front of his snout and I cute it might not stay if kids play with it really difficult or really hard um, but I just like to hand them the balloon looking the way it should. <laughs> what they do with it after they get it is up to them. Now for the artwork, I'm going to keep it very simple. Two ovals for the eyes. And remember when you're drawing these faces on for the eyes, keep them low and close into the nose as much as possible. It will help you make your designs really cute. If you'd put the eyes up here in the middle of his head, it would look just a little off. It'd still be cute, but it could always be cuter, right? Now I'm gonna use my white paint pen just to put some little shine dots on his eyes. And these are the Posca paint pens. You guys know I love these. Okay, there we go. So he's getting cuter. And for this guy, just to add some extra fun festiveness, I'm gonna get a red and blue marker. We're just gonna add some little spots on him in different places. So there you have it. We added a couple little spots. One big dot and two smaller ones is usually what I go with for some cuteness. The only thing I would change about this one if I was paying more attention while making it is I would have made his head a little bit shorter. You guys know I think that things are cuter when they're short and squat. Uh, so just maybe make his forehead here a little bit shorter, but he's cute in his own way. 
Um, if you want to give the tail a little bit of a curve, that's a nice touch that you can add on as well once you're finished. So there you have it, my 4th of July balloon dog design. Very patriotic looking, super fun and cute. I will get clip art of this guy up in the store for y'all if you wanna use this just like it is red, white, and blue. Otherwise, I have lots of other clip art drawings of balloon dogs that you can grab at the Twister Sister Studio store as well. I know some of our Twister Hood members who figured out how to make this design on their own were calling this uh, dog Patriot. It was labeled Patriot on their balloon twisty menus and I think that's really cool so there's a good idea if y'all want to steal that. And if you want to join us over in the Twister Hood, our doors are currently open. Uh, the Twister Hood is the membership program that I've created for balloon twisters. It's all the resources that I wish I had had when I was starting my balloon business back in Texas. It's all of my tutorial videos, DVDs, any video I've ever created is archived there so you can get all those. Uh, you get access to every clip art drawing I have ever drawn is inside of our clip art vault. We've got printable printables, uh, menu templates that you can just drag and drop, mock-ups if you're doing yard art you can drag and drop and to, to make beautiful mock-up images of uh, yard art design. There's just so many things inside of the Twister Hood. It would take me a full video to explain it all to you. Um, but again, doors are currently open if you want to join us over there and really level up your business and make your life a whole lot more convenient and easier as well. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this little puppy dog design. And also if you have ideas for tutorials you'd like to see me make, I'd love to hear what you're looking for and leave your suggestions in the comments as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my videos. And I'll be seeing you guys back again next week for another balloon tutorial. Bye everyone, have a great week.